Hey guys, welcome back to our nav system tutorial. This is part two, where we're going to explore the pro version of this widget. Part one covered the essentials version, but also the basic navigation setup procedure. So please make sure to watch that video first, even if you don't plan to use the essentials version. Before we jump into Muse, let's take another look at our live demo. Now, if you played around with the essentials version at all, you already know all the features that it does include. But I just want to point out some of the differences here with the pro version. If I click into our menu here, we have several pro elements being showcased. Up top here, we have an image item, which is displaying our logo nicely. Towards the bottom, we have social media icons displayed. And on the very bottom, this made with love by Muse themes message is an example of custom HTML. So let's take a look at how all of this is set up. Inside of Muse here, I have the exact project file that Christopher has designed for our live demo. If I scooch everything over, you can see he has neatly organized everything so that it's easy to decipher. We have our configuration component here on the top left, and he's even put these little handy text boxes just for the sake of our demo here, showing us which loader does what. So let's take a look inside these loaders and the differences within. I'll open this first loader in our About section. Now just like Essentials, we have five different items that can be added within. It only looks different because they're contained within a drop-down menu, since there's more settings inside. So let's expand item 1. Now right off the bat, you'll notice some of the settings are the same as the Essentials version, but there are definitely some notable differences. The biggest one is this setting right here, the Menu Item Type. Now if we expand this drop-down, you can select from Image, Header, Link, Placeholder, Custom HTML, and Social Media. Definitely more tricked out than the Essentials version, which only included link and placeholder. Now, all of your fields necessary for all those different types of items are available here. This upper section includes kind of the more general settings for the item, and the rest of this stuff below this space are specific settings that apply to whatever your item type is. So you'll notice some of those might be grayed out, depending on what type you have selected. Now, as you can see, Christopher has this first item set to be an image where down here he has uploaded an SVG file. You can upload any image file here for it to be dropped into your menu. Now let's close item one and expand item two. You can see here that we're working with a header as the item type, displayed as about us. And if we look back at the live demo, the next item displayed below our logo is the header text. No link or anything, it's just a nice category label. Now beneath about us are two hyperlinks. So if we go back to our loader, we can see that menu item 3 is a link, labeled as Our Team, and item 4 is a link as well, labeled as Blog. So really quick, I just want to cover those last few item types that we haven't explored yet. Let's jump down to our Social Loader. Now our first item, again, we can see it's just a header, labeled as Follow Us, and back on the demo, you can see it matches. Back in the loader, going to menu item 2, we can see that our type is set to Social. Now when you do that, you can see most of the other settings are grayed out. What you'll need to do here is jump down to this very last section in the panel labeled Social Media Settings. And inside here is where you can click to enable the various social profiles of your choosing, and you can enter their corresponding links within. So it's pretty straightforward, but it's a really cool element of the menu. So now let's look at item 3. This one is selected as Custom HTML, where Christopher has entered some code displaying that closing message, made with love from Muse Themes. So this will definitely be a popular component for those of you that are really code savvy and like to add in your own flair. So definitely have some fun with that one. Now lastly, I want to dive into our fully packed configuration component and breeze through some of the options. The first couple fields you'll recognize from the Essentials version. You just need to enter your graphic style for your button, as well as select a transition type. Under General Menu Styling, you'll find all the same settings from the Essentials version, allowing you to customize the overlay color and opacity, submenu icon, and back button customization. Now beneath that, we have sections for styling each of the menu item types. So we have image settings, header settings, social, etc. And again, there's way too much here for me to demo each individual setting, but I'll cover a couple of the standouts. You've got your text item styling, which applies to your links. Image item styling lets you size out any images that you might have added. I will note inside of here, image item margins. Now there's a string of numbers here, and each number applies to a margin direction. The order is top, right, bottom, and left. Think about it like a clock. 
but if you forget, you can simply hover your mouse over these numbers and you'll see a tooltip with that order. So it's up to you if you want to just use numbers or use numbers plus the PX for pixels, it really doesn't matter, but just make sure you don't add any commas or anything to separate them, just keep this format. You'll also find this setting in some of the other categories as well. And down here you have another link to the Font Awesome library here as well if you choose to use it. So that's it guys, we hope you guys enjoy this and find it to diminish the headache of finding a good navigation widget for Muse, specifically for mobile. And as with all widgets, but especially our really big ones, please keep in touch with us and let us know what you think. We're always looking to you guys to tell us what features you want to be added and if you run into any snags along the way. So thanks again, have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.